perhaps you could tell us a bit more about 45Q, what this is, what it means, what impact you think it's going to have? Sure, no, absolutely. So 45Q is a federal, US federal tax incentive that provides tax credits for both the uh, capture and sequestration of CO2 or the capture and utilization of CO2. Currently, rough numbers, those, those credits are around $50 a ton for pure sequestration and about $27, $28 a ton for utilization of it in any pre-existing commercial use. Um, it, it really was initiated in 2008 but it really didn't take hold. It was a, it was kind of a, a, a clumsy bill, if you will, that uh, in 2018, they revised it, made it more broad broadband and, and uh, available to open markets and more, uh, more, more markets. And it, about 2020, it really kind of took hold that you can sequester the CO2 that you're producing, get t tax incentives for it, and it's much more wide scale to a lot of generators. It's focused on power generation as the core, is focused on uh, enhanced oil recovery as the utilization, but there's a whole lot of other opportunities and people are starting to see that. So where the, the it's like, as I noted earlier, it's an outstanding uh, benefit. Uh, it's anybody that's producing any capture equipment or infrastructure by uh, December 31st, 2025 is available for this credit for the next 12 years. After that, it's open ended. So we don't know if it'll continue on or not. But uh, so, you know, it's tough to build an industry and build a market around pure capture and sequestration when we only have a few more years of that infrastructure build out. So we'd like to see that bill extended, of course. But the bigger concern from the market is. Uh, you, you know, we noted ethanol plants production earlier. Ethanol produces a lot of our commercial merchant CO2. If it makes more sense to capture that C2, CO2 and sequester it than, than put it into commercial use, the users of that CO2 are at risk. And that's, so that's why we talk about security of supply and ensuring that the users of CO2 today, which are tremendous and the market is growing, demand is increasing dramatically on the scale of 10 to 15% per year. Um, if those users need to know that they're going to have access to the CO2 that they want. So, so there's a great benefit of, of uh, 45Q, but it brings risk to our commercial markets in the near term until uh, these alternatives are developed. 